Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at PowerPoint and these are my top tips for using PowerPoint. So it's continuing my series aimed at students. So we're using PowerPoint in the browser and I'm just gonna rattle through some of my top tips for, for making the most of it. So the first one relates to organizing objects within a slide. Sometimes you want to align them, maybe in a grid pattern or, or in a row. If you select them and then right click, you'll find that there is a auto fix option. And this is really useful. It takes a bit of, of the faff out. It will arrange the objects for you. So if you've got a grid of objects, you've got various things you're trying to convey through the use of shapes, it will do that for you. So that's the auto fix feature, which makes it nice and easy to add objects and then align them nice and accurately. The next one to look at is to do with the appearance of your presentation. And we know that content is king, but it still doesn't stop us, does it, from when it comes to uh, creating a presentation, our focus is always, um, tends to be on how it looks more than uh, the content. So we, we take an ordinate long amount of time to get the look and feel right. But there is a quick fix and that quick fix is the designer option. So you can access that via the design tab or via the home tab. And when you click on designer, it provides suggestions based on the content and the information that you've added. So you can see I can click on that and it will apply that design to my slide or I can click rotate and it will suggest other layouts. So that's the designer tab. As I say, you can be accessed either via the home menu or via the design menu. If I choose another slide, you can see it's suggesting different ways that that, that information could be presented. So it's a great way to get a nice sharp, uh, high quality look and feel to your presentation. So that's using the designer feature. Just like with Word, you'll find that PowerPoint also has the dictate feature. So you can select dictate and it will type what you're talking. So that's a great way, if you're not a particularly efficient typist, you can make use of the dictate feature and you can see it's reasonably accurate. So that's the dictate feature. So worth making use of that. If you've got, and hopefully you shouldn't have too much text on your slides, but if you have got a lot of text on your slides, then you can make use. If you go to review, we can check the accessibility, make sure that it's it's reading okay. Uh, and we can also check the spelling as well. So there's just a, a, few, a few tips there. If you go to the editor settings, it will allow you to choose what things you're looking for with regards to grammar and spelling. So let's head back now. So now we're gonna focus on when it comes to actually presenting our presentation. And one thing that I think is really useful is the rehearse with coach feature. So that allows you to practice your presentation and it will give you feedback as it listens to you talk through your presentation. So you've got a new option just recently, which is body language, and that turns on your webcam. Uh, so it captures you as you're presenting and provides feedback on that as well. So let's just press rehearse with coach. And when you're ready, you press start rehearsing and you can either choose to have feedback in real time or just feedback as, as a report at the end. So I typically wait to the end. So I start rehearsing. So you can see there's a, a, a clip of me. And as I talk through the presentation, it will give me feedback on what's on the slides and my pace, my tone of voice. So on to the next slide, looking at the editor feature in Word in these presentation, it's giving me feedback for each of the things I'm saying, the manner I'm saying them in. Uh, this is a video I've recorded on using the top three features for Word. It's giving me feedback all of the time. It's monitoring what I'm doing. It's monitoring where I'm looking at. And these are the features of Immersive Reader. So I've gone through the presentation. When I finish the presentation, I can press Escape. And it will bring up a report detailing how I did. So it thought I, I, I maybe said um a bit too much. Monotone wise, yeah, it, it thinks I could be more animated. I think it's it's slightly the echoey room here, but uh, 
It gives you feedback on that. It gives you feedback on the pace of words, whether you've used any repetitive language, whether your language is inclusive, but it also gives you feedback on your body language. And that's so useful if you're having to present remotely via Teams. It's good to make sure that you're, you're aware of where you're looking and how you're doing. And then it also gives you an originality score, which is very much, are you just reading off the slides or are you talking over the top of them? So that's the Rehearse with Coach feature. So there are my top tips for, for using PowerPoint. I hope you found that useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.